Oh, they mad. Going out, swinging for I'm going out, say. Every 2000 alive, right? Fuck the world up on my life, right? Saying I'm the one she lies, lies. She check it for me, now baby, come and watch you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you guys. So. I'm just gonna do like a quick little run through of all the events that took place for my 21st birthday. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know what's up. I went to El Salvador for my 21st birthday. Um, I saw it on TikTok and I was just like, I'm gonna go. Now I had a blast, it was so much fun. Um, but I went by myself. And so that tends to be a little bit dangerous. Highly don't recommend it if you don't have common sense or street smarts, cause like, you just going out there, like it could literally lead to something dangerous happening or whatever. So like definitely like take safety precautions. I was looking, doing like a lot of research into it and it looked gorgeous. Um, some history on El Salvador, they recently are just now getting out of a civil war. So yeah, when you first go down to El Salvador, um, Fresh off the airplane, you're greeted by like this gorgeous greenery, like looking outside the airplane. Cause I'm coming from Atlanta. So since I'm coming from Atlanta, going there, like, you know, when you're leaving Atlanta, you see city and stuff. When you land in El Salvador, um, it's a lot of green grass everywhere. Really, really gorgeous nature outside the window of the airport or whatever. Um, yeah, and so when you go down there, you're gonna see security and their security is a little bit different. Their security isn't like, you know, a typical mall cop or something like that that you see down here in America. You know, you might see a, like a cop or something with a little pistol on his hip. No, they have military and the military walk around with like these big ass like assault rifles. And that's cool. That's cool because you know, like the government is trying to crack down on a lot of violence and trying to crack down on a lot of like crimes that are going on because if you look at the statistics, their homicide rates have dropped dramatically. So obviously it's working for them. Um, things weren't where it, like where they wanted it to be before, but now they're trying to move into a different like time, like you know, it's a different time period for them. That was like a big culture shock for me because I wasn't used to like police officers just, or not police officers, so I'm used to police officers being like in schools and things like that. Schools, malls, you know, like typically where you see police officers or security at or whatever down here. But like over there, they literally have military. Like, you know, I was just riding in the taxis and stuff and I would look out and there'll be just like big tanks, just like driving on the road casually or whatever. Um, at one point I did get pulled over and I will, play that clip. Um, I got pulled over by the military and um, me going down there, I understand um, Spanish to a certain extent. I understand Spanish when they're speaking slow to me. Um, and I understand, like, and I can speak back to them or whatever, but um, a lot of times you can use Google Translate if like, neither one of y'all are really understanding each other because like majority of the people in that country do not speak spanish i mean they do not speak english like at all like at all some people know like what like hello and goodbye and then that's about it but um for the m most part nobody speaks english like nobody does um i can count on my hands how many people i met who spoke like good enough english to like have a conversation with them for the most part i stayed on the resorts because i am new to traveling alone and i didn't really know what to expect um everything was safe honestly like um, i had a taxi driver who was driving me around the entire time and um he was given to me by the resort that i was staying at um, it was a really nice place. Um, it was called La Garza Hostel. So basically when you're living in a hostel, you know, it's like shared dorms or whatever, and you're gonna share the space with somebody. But um, I picked there because it was really pretty and I really liked it. And it was in La Libertad. La Libertad is a beach town. And um, it's literally a beachfront place and you can see, like it's just such a gorgeous ass location. Great food over there. I freaking loved it. Like I love my stay the entire time. Like. I don't know if she was the manager, but one of the like lead ladies there, she um, literally, she was fluent in English. Um, I could hold conversations with her. She was the sweetest. Um, 
she ended up giving me um uh like it was a dessert i had ordered dessert and she wrote like happy birthday jelena on it it was like it made me feel so special and it, like i just had the best time over there you guys didn't have to do all this this is so pretty um but yeah, I told her that I needed a taxi, and so she like literally just paired me up with a taxi dude. And this taxi dude, he was my taxi guy for like the duration of my stay, honestly. And I didn't get to do everything that I wanted to do because um, things were definitely weird. And I don't think it's like a constant thing that goes on. I think it was just like coincidentally things were just going on when I was going or whatever. Like. For instance, I wanted to go to the rainbow slide, and that's the main reason why I wanted to go to El Salvador was for the rainbow slide. And I wasn't able to go on the rainbow slide mainly because um, I guess they had closed it down for whatever reason. I never even went. Um, I happened to run into some ladies from um, Atlanta, which was crazy, but it was like a group of ladies. They were about like eight to ten of them in the group and um they were telling me that they came down here too to see the rainbow slide but they said that they had went the day before i had met them or whatever and um they said when they went like you can take pictures by the slide but you can't actually like go down or anything and i was like well that sucks i don't want to go there anymore but i did get to do a lot more other things but a lot of things i didn't get to do mainly because i stayed there from friday to monday and Friday when I first landed, I landed at night. Well, no, that's a lie. I landed around 1 o'clock, 2 p.m. Like, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, somewhere around there. I, that's when I landed inside El Salvador. And from the airport to the beach town, it took about two hours, y'all. Like, the traffic was actually crazy. Um, the airport is in San Salvador, and that's where you first land at. And there's a lot of things to do in San Salvador, but it's a city. And it's too many people moving around. It's a lot of people just, like, doing a lot of things. And, like, they say crime is, like, more, like, heavy around San Salvador. So I already knew, like, I didn't want to do too much around there. But just because, like, where I was staying, Lali was had, that was two hours out. And, um, what's gonna call it? San Salvador was, you know, like, that's just a lot of driving or whatever. And, um, when I first landed, my whole goal was to, like, go to Walmart pick up little things that I wasn't able to carry on the plane. I mainly picked up some snacks because so I was hungry. It took two hours to get to the place where I was staying at. And the place that I was staying at, like I was saying before, it was a hostel. So I would typically be sharing the room with somebody. And I only like got a shared room because the private rooms were all booked up and like I could not get a private room. And on the, um, on the island, not the island, on the resort place, um, it was like half like private rooms, half share rooms or whatever. And since all the private rooms were all booked up, I happened to get a share room all by myself. So like I literally had six bunk beds all to myself. So I mean it worked out in my favor. Like, you know, six bunk beds. Like that's that was pretty cool. And um yeah, I had me a good old time. Oh, I had a list of things that I wanted to do. Um it was in no particular order, it's just a list of things that I wanted to do. But um I think next time I would have definitely gone on ahead and rented a car because the whole time I was relying on a taxi and um, it wasn't too bad. Typically it would be like $40, $50 round trip. So like I was going to a lot of places and like things started to add up quickly. The first day on Friday, um, I really didn't have anything planned for Friday. Friday was mainly just like a day where I was just gonna chill or whatever because that was the first day I was getting there. Plus that was my birthday. So um, I got me some dinner and then I went on ahead and um, got me hella drinks. Like the alcohol there is cheap, honey. Like I'm talking about three dollars, four dollars cheap, and I'll provide screenshots because like y'all, it was cheap. And so, um, honey, I was drinking. I had about four margaritas the first night. It was a great way to bring in my birthday. So like that was that. Um, yeah, I got messed up on Friday. Saturday, um, I kind of woke up a little late. I woke up a little late and I was mainly, I had went to the beach cause like where I was staying at, it was a beachfront. So I went to the beach on Saturday and then after that, um, I ended up going to Nawi Beach House, I believe. Nawi Beach House is a beautiful place for photo ops or whatever. But like I said, I went during a weird time. So like when I went to Nawi Beach House, 
um there was a wedding taking place so i didn't really get to do what i wanted to do it was like um yeah it was like a whole entire event going on but at nami beach house that's what i went on ahead and went horseback riding i had a wonderful time at nami beach house i met some cool people down there but when i had went there wasn't really much i could do and it was really cheap to get in it was like 15 dollars for a day pass but they didn't make me pay because it was my birthday um and they were just being jet. It was like, it was because it was my birthday, number one. And number two, it was like, it was a major inconvenience because there was a wedding going on and I had no idea about it. But, um, yeah, I mean, I could have done more had there not been a wedding going on. But, I mean, it is what it is. It, it was, like, I still had a good time anyways. I went horseback riding, ate good food. And then I went back to my, um, I went back to my hostel situation. Um, it was, like, it wasn't too far from there. It was about, like, a 30-minute drive. Um... I believe that was a 30 minute drive. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. It was just a lot of like swimming in the pool and swimming in the beach and stuff when I went to El Salvador. Then I was gonna go on ahead and do more stuff, but like I said, it was like, things just weren't really going as planned. Like, um, I was gonna go to the picnic steakhouse and the picnic steakhouse is where they had the rainbow slide. Couldn't go on there. Cause like, I mean, I could have went and probably ate good food, but like, there's good food all over the country and I really just wanted to go for the experience. So like that, that was that. Um, Sunday, I believe that was the day that I went on ahead and um, I went to go get the massage. I went to Tamale Santa, Saint, Santa Teresa. I went to Tamale Santa, Santa Teresa. It's a thermal spa, natural spa. Um, first things first when I went there, um, I got dropped off by my taxi. It was $10 to get in. Um, and with the $10 day pass that came with, like, you could literally go on all the pools that you wanted to, all the jacuzzis that you could have went into. Everything was just like, you know, it was your world. Just do whatever you want. I went on ahead and I went to the pools, jacuzzis. So first thing I did was go on ahead and get a massage. The massage lasted for about 45 minutes. Um, it was $25 to go on ahead and get the massage um, really cheap. Um, yeah, I got the massage. I fell asleep the whole entire 45 minutes. It was, it was crazy. Um, and Sunday, I did not have good service at all. Sunday and Monday, I had terrible service. Literally, I paid for international calling and I ran up my 15 gigs within like Friday. Like it was crazy. Um, but yeah, Sunday and Monday, I just like barely even had service. I wasn't even trying at that point. Plus I was all the way up in the mountains and like, you're not gonna get any reception up in the mountains um or really anywhere in the country but especially the mountains so um yeah that was that got a, a 45 minute massage after that i went to the natural spa the natural spa felt so amazing um so first what they did was i go in to like there's like this little sauna spot you go into the sauna and then they take you out you go into the sauna for like five two minutes five minutes something like that and then you go on ahead and get out you put clay all over your body and your face i didn't put anything on my face because honey i i, I did my makeup i'm not gonna go on ahead and do that so like literally i did my makeup that day and so hmm, honey you're not gonna mess me up um yeah so i went on ahead put the like they put the clay all over my body for me and um there's two plays there's one for your body one for your face but i just did the one for your, your body put it all over my body um i think i stood there and i had to let it dry for like 10 minutes and then after that i go into the sauna they put me into the sauna again went into the sauna for like another 10 minutes and then took me out and then they walk me down to this um yeah so they're called hot springs i just look them up sorry but, um, so, like, essentially, the whole entire, like, country has, like, a lot of volcanoes all over the place. So, you know, with volcanoes comes hot springs. So, you know, like, that, that's literally the whole entire place. But, but anyways, back to the story. They go ahead, put the clay all over your body, clay all over your face, you dry, go to the sauna, sit there for a little minute. And then they go on ahead and walk you down to the hot springs. And in the hot springs, that's when you go on ahead and you wash all of that off for you. And then after you wash all of that off, they take you to the Japanese foot massage. And when you go to the Japanese foot massage, that's meant for, like, that stuff is really good for um, reducing stress and anxiety. And it's good for building your immune system. It just has all these benefits. 
basically it's like it's like a nature's walking you're walking on these hot rocks and it's like these really really hot rocks and the rocks are heated up by like the water or whatever because mind you you're like in a hot spring area but um you're just walking and like honestly i can handle it but to the other people that stuff was scorching so i might have something physically wrong with me because like honey i don't know it wasn't too hot to me it felt like nice it felt soothing but other people were like hey, like nah i can't i can't do this bro i can't do this and so everybody was like hopping off of the rocks and i'm just over there like da -da -da -da, just like put a pattern all, all over the rocks and stuff and everybody's looking at me like is she good <laughs> but um yeah so that was that and then i drove back to the resort see that Honestly, that was like a one day thing because like everything was so far. Like I wish I stayed there a little bit longer if I knew like how far everything was because like um, literally it was two hours out all the way out in the mountains. Like it was two hours away from the beach and I was staying on the beach. And then like San Salvador was two hours out this way and everything was just at least two hours out. And I don't even think it was a distance thing. I think it was more so is like um, the like, traffic it was so much traffic and then it's just everything is just so far away from each other so i really only did like two big things when you think about it but uh i had me a good time like but everything that i wanted to do everything was like an all-day event it wasn't even like you could get things done all in one day so next time i go i will literally plan out a whole entire week because like honestly because on monday monday was when i had to go back and on monday I um, went. I went souvenir shopping. I went on ahead and ate pupusas. Look, if you're gonna go to El Salvador, you gotta have pupusas. That's like that's number one. That's number one. Like, why would you go to El Salvador and not have the pupusas? That's like, who are you? It was so delicious. Like, y'all, I need me some over here. I just found out Georgia has some, and they better be hitting on the same thing that this country was hitting on because if they're not, I'm gonna be pissed. But like. Yes, the pupusas were so good. And it's basically like they taste like mozzarella sticks. They literally taste like cheese sticks. And it's just, if you like cheese sticks, you would love pupusas. They were just so good. They're like these tortillas and like, it's like these soft tortilla breads or pita breads or something. I don't know. They look like tortilla breads. And you stuff them with cheese. And then other ones, you stuff them with beans and cheese. Y'all don't think these are good. They're good. And I want some to go. Like, I want some right now. But, um, yeah, so on Monday when I was leaving, all I did was, um, I ate pupusas, I had some souvenir, I went souvenir shopping, um, got my COVID test. So, like, when you're flying to, um, when you're going into El Salvador, you have to have a PCR test. A PCR test typically takes about 24 hours for the results to come in. They won't take a, ra a rapid antigen test, no. And going into El Salvador, you need to have a PCR test. But going back into America, all you need is a rapid antigen test. That's it, and you're good to go. Um, costing me about thirty dollars where I went. Um, thirty dollars for a COVID test. I got a rapid test the day that my flight was, and I was good to go. Honestly. Um, so yeah, I did that, and then my flight was at two thirty. So I was I made it to the airport at around twelve. Um. But yeah, definitely, like, um, if you want to go to El Salvador, like, I say, like, plan it out for a week because there's, like, so many things to do. And honestly, I didn't do anything that Friday or that Monday because those were the days that I was coming in and leaving. And all I had was Saturday and Sunday. And because I only had Saturday, there's just too much to do and you cannot fit it in in two days at all. Um, I really only got two things done in those two days, mainly because everything is so far out from each other, especially where I was staying at. I was staying in Lolly with that. That's a beach town. Everything is either in the city or it's all the way up in the mountains and everything is two hours, is at least two hours out. And it was just like, you know, it's a lot. Especially because I didn't want to stay out after dark either because like, common sense. But when I, I'm literally a black woman with blonde hair and I was already catching way too much attention without my makeup done. And so when I have my makeup done, honey, I'm catching all types of attention. So I'm not gonna go on ahead and be out after dark got dark around 5 30 so you already know i was already going back to the resort and like and that's cool and that's fine like i'm not about to risk my life trying to do all these things by myself inside this country like not flying but i have a little bit of a vlog going on Do I have English? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
¿Qué es español? Um, muy, 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 muy poquito. <laughs> yeah, me and Diego both are español. day one of the trip um everybody has been reaching out and making sure that i'm safe um i appreciate everybody making sure i'm safe it's been pretty good it's been pretty lit um so far i have a dog friend don't even know where he came from just came unannounced and just like plopped over here and fell asleep um i desperately need a shower because it is hot okay it's very hot over here i've been sweating all fucking day but um, it's been pretty lit. I already ate like a lot of my food and everything. So far, everybody on this island has been super, super friendly. Really amazing people. And I freaking love it over here. Like, um, I would definitely come back. I love it. Okay, so now it is the next morning. Um, I have a light right here where my bed is. I am in a bunk bed. Um, so essentially where I'm staying at, so, update, um, it is now the next morning, I'm in my bunk bed, um, so essentially where I'm staying at is called La Garza Hostel, basically when you're living in a hostel, you're gonna be sharing a room with other people, um, it's typically like a whole bunk bed situation, these are full size bunk beds, but on this property, I believe it's like one side is the shared rooms, the other side is the private rooms. Private rooms were all booked up, literally everywhere. So I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna get a hostel. Because like, literally everywhere I was looking, all the hotels were booked up, booked up, booked up. And I was just like, I'll just go here, I guess. So got this place, really, really nice. It's a beautiful location, love it. Um, and when I booked the rooms, I was prepared to share the room with however many people I'll be sharing it with or whatever. But when I came here, I'm only here for the weekend. I'm here from Friday to Monday. And when I came here, she was telling me that, um, um, sorry, my mind is going blank. But basically, but all in all, I had the room to myself. <laughs> all in all, um, nobody booked, like everybody booked up for the private rooms. I'm not the only person on this property. There are other people with me. Um, there's breakfast going on at eight o'clock. Right now it's seven in the morning. So it's like breakfast starts at eight. Um, there's other people here. When I came here, there was plenty of other people, so it's not like it's, I'm by myself at this hostel. It's just everybody is in the private rooms, and I'm like the only one in the shared rooms. And since I am the only one in the shared room, it turned into a private room. You know what I'm saying? There's um, two, four, six, eight bunk beds, and I have eight bunk beds to myself. Um, I chose the one on top because I'm afraid of bugs and. I literally saw an ant on the floor and I'm just thinking that the ant is gonna come and get me. And honey, I don't wanna get bit by an ant in my sleep or a spider. Um, there's not a lot of them out here, honestly, but you can never be too careful. Honestly, there, like, there's literally like no bugs out here. I just saw an ant and I was just like, yep, mm -hmm, nope, I'm not sleeping. I'm not sleeping on the bottom bunk. I'm not doing that. So, yeah, they can still, like, you know, buzz can still get to me anywhere you are, but, you know, 
I just would rather be up here. So I'm gonna start the camera again after I go on ahead and get ready for the day. I'm about to go do my makeup and things. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go do my makeup and such. And today, all I have planned for is to go to the rainbow slide. I wanna go to the beach because this is a beachfront location. So I do wanna go to the beach. I wanna go to the pool. Um, I wanna go to the picnic steakhouse today. And also, I wanna go hike up um, a volcano. So we're gonna see how that goes today. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go on ahead and get ready for the day and go on ahead and get my outfit ready. look at the beach I'm, I'm gonna get ready in a second but yeah this is all pretty down here these are showers too right these two right there down there mm -hmm. yeah i was gonna get ready go to the beach and then go out into the city again Yeah. Okay. Thank you. These are pretty. since where I'm near so many volcanoes and stuff typically sand at a beach in El Salvador is black you see my shoes over there I have black sand on me um, there's black sand everywhere my toes are black the beach is just absolutely gorgeous everything is just black um, yeah I just been here since this morning, um, finding a piece of mine. Super gorgeous and hot. I'm literally burning up right now, actually. But just to show you, my resort is back there, past those trees. But this is so gorgeous. It's supposed to be a shared place, but I pretty much have it all to myself. These are the bathrooms. So gorgeous. I just came from the pool. 
and honestly life is great life is great as hell I'm enjoying life it was great so I made another taxi and I want to go on ahead and um, I'm heading to now we beach house right now I just got done drinking some pina coladas at the fruit store so I'm feeling good feeling great but um, yeah I'm on the way to yeah another location Oh my goodness. Looks like a wolf. <laughs> It is now currently Sunday. Um, I just woke up. I'm in the bathroom right now. Don't mind my glasses. Working on getting them fixed. Um, I took a shower last night. These are the showers. I don't know if I showed you guys the showers already, but showers are really pretty. They look like that. Took a shower last night, so I don't need one this morning. Um, Bathrooms are those two doors over here. I just have it wide open because it gets a little humid in here and it's not like they have like um, the fumigators that we have in America. That way it doesn't get so hot and stuffy. So um, yeah, and then plus it's like super humid outside. It's super hot. Um, yeah, you get hot fast over here. So I just leave this shower door open. That way like, you know, air can circulate a little bit better, especially when I'm over here brushing my teeth. Um, yeah, this is why I go ahead and get ready in the mornings. Really, it's a really pretty, really clean face. Um, so don't know what I have planned for today, but we're gonna figure it out as I go. I have a list of things that I wanna do, but this is like my last real day here. I do have to make sure to get a COVID test because if I don't, if I don't have a negative COVID test, I will not be coming back into the United States. So. First things first, get a COVID test, and then after that, um, yeah, after that, I can do whatever I want to do, but gotta, you know, coordinate with the driver, of course, see what, um, see, see um, if he can go on ahead and take me to, see if he can take me to get me a COVID test. I have a list of places that I could possibly go to for a COVID test, but I'm gonna go on ahead and, um, get one of those and then go um, and explore El Salvador a little bit more. Everything is so far away from each other. I'm staying in La Libertad, that's a beach town. San Salvador is about an hour and some change out. Um, there's other stuff that I wanna do in other cities, but they're like two hours out, an hour and a half out. It is so far. And like, honestly, I don't even think it's that far like distance wise, I think it's just because of traffic. It is so many people over here and um, Traffic just gets out of control, literally out of control. So, um, yeah, I might, um, I might just say things for San Salvador to like do that on another day. I don't think I want to go to San Salvador today. I think I want to stay in San Salvador for when I'm like um, leaving, just because like I'll be the airport is inside San Salvador, so I truly just want to go um, go and go back to the city, you know, when I'm leaving. But yeah, look, 
I just love these showers. They're so pretty. And like right next door, or like right here, is another shower. But um, yeah, I love the concept. It's so pretty. And then it's like nobody's gonna look because like the trees are very high up. So there's nothing. Literally, that's a rooftop to like the suites downstairs. So yeah, nobody's gonna be peeping at you or anything. Very, very private, very gorgeous. Like, I love it here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. Brush, well, I already brushed my teeth. Um, gotta wash my face. And speaking about my face, y'all, I swear, like, this place cleared up my acne. <laughs> like, I really didn't have too much acne before, but I was having breakouts here and there. My skin just looked super dry. Everything just felt so like, ugh. But here, it's like, I swear, like, I don't even have to do anything. I just wake up looking like glowy. So, yeah. I freaking, I love it here. Like, my skin is glowing. I smile a lot more often. That could also be because it's summer over here. And back in Georgia, it's um, fall and winter. And fall and winter is like, so so dreary and sad it rains and it's cold and it's just like ugh and i gotta go back there tomorrow on monday i gotta fly out and i should be landing somewhere around like 7 30 ish so you know it's gonna be real cold at night and um i'm not ready to leave i'm just not ready to leave el salvador i might accidentally miss my flight it's so nice over here but yeah we're not thinking about that today, because today's Sunday, and I still have another night here. So I'm gonna go on ahead and get ready. Honestly, at this point, I don't think I want to come back to Georgia. It's so beautiful over here. The people are so nice. No attitudes. It's amazing.
so I just got like the most amazing massage in the world. I fell asleep. Um, it was about like 45 minutes long. It was $20 for a full body massage. Um, really, really cheap. Um, what else? So right now I am on the way to go to the natural spa. I did not have a bathing suit, so I had to buy what they had available because they had this cute blue bathing suit available. So you already know. Oh, I think they might this spot the one that's so Yes. Oh, Brenna's DS. Thank you. Focus more on the experience. You don't really focus too much on your phone. I 
they took a lot of pictures. I took a lot of videos. Um, my family does want to know how I'm doing. I haven't really been updating them much. Um, I've been trying to update them, but like I said, I have bad service. So when I update them, it's already like behind. Like I'll go ahead and tell them one thing, but then that message won't send for like hours later. So they're thinking that I'm still over here doing one thing, but I'm not. But today all I did was um, got ready at the resort and then um, went on ahead and got my COVID test. It was really easy and my COVID test it was $30. Um, we got the results within like an hour. Um, but while we were waiting on results, we went on ahead and got some souvenirs. And then I, um, the souvenirs is AKA this shirt. And they had a long sleeve shirt, which is crazy because I was talking to some locals yesterday, like last night, and they were telling me that they only have two seasons, winter and summer. But winter isn't even cold, it's just winter is rainy. Um, so I like, never, I don't see like why they would have this sweatshirt, but I'm glad that they have it because I'm going back to Atlanta where the weather is like 40 degrees right now. So yeah, I'm going from 80, 90 degree weather to 40. I'm already expecting me to be sick from all of this. Like one time change and two seasons changing for me like ASAP. Hello, so, I went from like 40 degree weather in Georgia to 90 degree weather over here. Now I'm going back to 40 degree weather. It's just, it's just too much. So um, yeah. I had a really good time. Right now, um, my driver is driving me to the airport. It was it was really good while it lasted. I enjoyed my time so much, and I'm really upset that I have to go back. And I'm, but I am really grateful that I had this experience and I was able to come out here. I, I thank God I was able to come out here. I've been plotting this for like literally a year. Got a little scared that I almost wasn't gonna make it, but I made it, and I'm so glad that I came here. And um, we're talking, um, by being a local, we're talking a lot about, you know, El Salvador and stuff, and um, I think one of the common misconceptions is that because this is like an underdeveloped country compared to America, um, you know, like, people just expect it to be, like, super duper dangerous, super scary, and basically like Afghanistan or something like that, like, they're, they expect it to be, like, like a war zone, and um, that's not it at all, like, it's completely not it. I don't think you should be scared coming to this country, but um, with that being said, there are bad people and good people everywhere as you go. Like, um, you can easily get robbed or killed or raped or something like that inside Georgia, California, anywhere where you live at or whatever, but um, you know, it's the same, same thing over here. You can easily get the same thing done to you over here. That's why you just proceed with caution and you make sure that you watch your surroundings and you're staying safe, you're not being anywhere that you don't need to be at. You know, if you schedule to be here, here, and here, then be exactly where you say you're gonna be at. But that goes for any place that you go, go to. It's not necessarily like in this country or like in America. It doesn't really matter what country you go to, you know? It's like, you just gotta play it safe. Like, it's not, there's nothing wrong with playing it safe. Um, I know when I came down here, I planned on getting like a pepper spray and a pocket knife just for like safety precautions. I really thought I would need it but honestly I forgot and honestly I haven't I'm on my way back to the airport and I've been here since Friday today's Monday I never felt like I needed it not one time um the only thing about El Salvador it does it a little bit scary sometimes because um it has heavy military around here but the way I look at it is like um it's similar to how we have police officers inside our um thing just um military so like military will just be walking around with these big rifles or whatever but it's no different from you know security guards in a mall with guns or like um you know police officers with guns walking around and stuff so it's not too unfamiliar it's just like instead of a pistol it's like an assault rifle but um yeah um so that can be a little bit frightening because it definitely is different but the they're only there to cut down on crime. They're only there to protect their citizens. They're not there for anything else. So it's like, it's pretty like normal to see all of that right now. Um, Cause they did just get out of like a really bad civil war and you know, they're moving into a, a, a new, I'm sorry. 
they're moving into a new frame of life for them, like a new phase, phase of life, I'm sorry. They're moving into a new phase of life, so, you know, they're just trying to cut down on games, and they're, you 